Good morning. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be creating a pumpkin that's carved like a jack-o'-lantern that we can cut out of cardboard with the laser cutter so it needs to be in an SVG file. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to follow the Thingiverse link I'm giving you to the pumpkin build SVG. You'll see it looks just like this. It's just a blank. And you're going to need to download that. So you're going to click download all files. When you download all files, you wait a second. This box will pop up. Download it to your desktop. Hit save. It downloads to your desktop. Show in Finder. Boom, it shows it in the Finder. Take a look. There it is, highlighted. I double click it. This pops up. Suddenly I've got a folder. That folder has a bunch of stuff, including this file right here, pumpkin build SVG. STL. So we're going to go over here to Tinkercad, second link I gave you. Going to make sure you're signed in. Then you're going to go to Create New Design. Your new design is going to be your pumpkin. So you can click right here. Type in pumpkin your name. Doesn't have to be in crazy caps like I did. Whoops. Now you're going to click import because you're going to bring that pumpkin file into your workspace here. There's pumpkin build SVG, files, pumpkin build, open. Import. Excellent. So now I've got this piece here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it almost all the way through the floor. Right at the end, we're going to drop it even more because the only thing we want is that work plane cut. So we're going to make sure that everything we want to cut, the eyes, the mouth, any other features, all fall on that work plane. Now what your job is to do, see if you look at it from the top, it's round. We're going to treat that as the pumpkin. And your job is to create the shapes you want on there. Now... Traditionally, pumpkins have kind of triangular shaped eyes, so I'm just going to add one eye here because I want to keep this video short. I've highlighted the work plane tool. I've clicked on the top of the pumpkin as the work plane. You can see that it's not on the floor anymore. It's right there on the face. I'm going to bring this roof piece over, and it's going to drop right there on the work plane. Now, it is not yet oriented the way I want it to be. If it was this way, it would make a square hole. I'm going to rotate, grab that... Uh, arrow handle, rotate over, and I'm going to drop that almost all the way through. Right now I'm going to leave it green, but a little while later I'm going to click this hole here. Let me make this about the size I need it to be. And if I click hole, then I've cut a hole in the shape. Now it doesn't go all the way through the whole shape yet because I've still got that whole cylinder, but it goes through enough to make it through that work plane where we're going to actually make the, uh, the cuts. So I've got one. The placement on that looks a little low. I can use my arrow keys to move it around if I want. I can rotate it. I can use my standard copy, which is Command-C and Command-V to make a second one. I can get those to line up as I want to. And then I want to design the rest of the features. Now you might use a triangle also for the nose, but you might do something more complex for the mouth. This is an optional activity. As you finish them, we're going to try to get them all cut out in the laser cutter and give you a chance to throw some orange tempera paint on there. I sure hope I have that. And see what else we can do with these. Now, when you've got it done, you're going to click this export button. You're going to export for SVG. It should have the actual name there. Click Save. Then I've got it right here. And you're going to share this file with me on Google Classroom. And that's where I'm going to go to pick it up, to put it in the laser cutter. 
to cut these out. 